Going back over to the project side, I'm just going to hit on a couple key points um, before I open up the app here for everyone to see. The document, we can track open issues and punch lists um, and have up to four different punches for you know, owners, subcontractors, things like that. Uh, we can have uh, your meeting minutes put into the system and track who's, who's attended, what are all the notes, who's responsible for each of the different meeting minute items. Um, if you guys need any extra details on any of this stuff, feel free to email me when we're done. I'll get you some more details on that uh, for time purposes. I can't get into everything here today. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to daily logs. Now, before I start talking about the web portion of the daily logs, I'm going to point out with, this, with the app that we have currently, most people are using that instead of the actual uh, web-based daily logs. And the reason for that is many foremen out there or um, superintendents are running this off of their you know, smartphones and things of that nature, which are going to be a lot smaller than working it off of a, um, a laptop or tablet. So what we've done with the app is, let me go ahead and get logged into the app so I can show you. With the app, we can now come in and do our daily logs anywhere. Now, everything you saw prior to this uh, was web-based, which means you do need to have an Internet connection or a Wi-Fi of some nature, Wi-Fi hotspot, anything like that to have access. The app, however, can be done completely offline, um, so you no longer have to worry about, you know, am I getting a signal, what am I doing? You can come in here, and anything you've pre-populated in while you had signal will be available to you. As a you know, superintendent or whoever is doing this, I can pull up my project, and I can do a couple things. I'm going to start with daily logs, and then we'll kind of round back into some of the rest. I can pull up my daily logs, and as you can see, I've already started September 15th daily log. From here, I can see the weather, the notes, and I can edit it to make sure this is all correct. You know, put in any comments that I saw, uh, no safety violations, let's say. or however you would spell that in real terms. Uh, so no safety violations. And also note the weather is going to automatically populate each day that you come in based on the zip code of the project. It's going to grab a lot more information than, you're prob than you probably are gathering today, only for the fact that you know most people don't do relative humidity and baromic pressure. But it might be important at some point in the future, so we capture all that right from the weather site to get you that information for the project. Once you have all this information captured, you can move on and take your pictures and uh, you know, uh, do uh, right from your camera rolls and do your walkthroughs and grab things like that. And you can also grab right from your camera roll as well uh, to capture all those information. We have our activities portion as well to capture who was at the site on a given day. If I want to look at my landscaping here, I can see that the organization was my own. This was self-performed. I had no second-tier subs involved either. And I uh, got all my different people that I'm working on here. I can capture how many hours of each groups of people and how many uh, individual people are on there. And I can run a report later on to know exactly, hey, for the last week uh, for a particular subcontractor or second-tier sub, how many people were out at the job site doing work and how many hours did they put in uh, so that we can get some good reporting and all that. Great way to see at a very high level what's going on in the project with the activity of those workers. Um, and Again, on the report side of things, putting in all of our notes, what's going on in the project, gathering the weather, doing our walkthroughs, and all of this becomes available to us. And it works in both landscape or in um, regular um, portrait mode on your tablet or smartphone, whichever you guys prefer. For this next section, I do prefer landscape because it's the document access. I can pull up all my plans and specs and any other documents I have security access to through the app. Now, a couple of things that are really nice about this, as I said, you can do this offline, which means you might have documents that you need to download later on. Many people out there do not have unlimited data plans, so we don't automatically download all your documents to your device. That would just swamp your data plan, potentially causing you a lot of heartache. So as required, you can download any of the, any of the plans as they make sense. And once they come onto your site, you can start pulling them up and, you know, 
looking at the plans, you know, scrolling through them, seeing, uh, pinching and zooming, you know, see what's going on. But we also give you the ability to mark up the documents. We can you know, variety of different things you can choose from. I'm just going to do a red uh, pen here. And I can highlight something and say, okay, this is uh, something I want you to look at. Uh, I can uh, draw an arrow if I want to. I can pull up a uh, text field and say, uh, please note changes or whatever I want to put on there. And all this information can then be saved on the document and emailed over to people. You know, I can want email this to my project manager if I'm a sub and I'm asking questions. I can email this to my architect if I want to ask him a question about it. But all this availability is here to do just that through the app. And then the app's going to be expanded even more in the future. We're going to start adding the ability uh, to do RFIs from the app, punch lists from the app, and then more so going on to the future. Going back over to the Project Center itself, I'm going to go in to uh, the last kind of bits on this. Now, everything we've talked about, uh, we can get reports for. So we have documents that we're putting in, we're storing, we're tracking all that. We want to be able to pull out a report, let's say, and say, show me all of my submittal uh, reports. I can look at my submittal details either by package or by item. And just note, I'm going to show you uh, one or two of these reports. We have one for all the different sections. And all of our reports are crystal reports. And this means that you can download and modify these as it makes sense for you. I can say, show me all my open or overdue with the ball in court. And this report will then give me a nice little uh, summary of what's going on with my particular submittal items at this point. Zoom in just a little bit there. And I can see each of my open items. Who, who are we waiting on? Is it the architect? Is it me? How many days is it in review or overdue? And right from here, get a pretty good idea. Now, we can also schedule all of our reports as well. And if, that means if you have a uh, meeting every Tuesday morning, you can have this show up in everyone's inbox so that they can just pull right up and start working on it. Uh, we also have. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, activity tracking logs as well. This can be a report to ask if you ever get in a scenario where somebody says, well, you, uh, I, I told you I sent you a document with a, a warranty change, and you say, no, you didn't. Well, first off, you can check to see if they never uploaded one. Two, you can see if you sent them anything and if they had downloaded it. We track who's downloaded documents, who's ran reports, who's sent things, who's uh, changed anything in the system. Everything's trackable and available. Uh, someone asked me to show the daily field reports, so let's go ahead and pull that up right here. Uh, daily field report, I would basically tell it what days am I running this for. Let's just go ahead and uh, run it just for September right now. Daily field report would be put in. Do I want to run it for a certain log or anything like that? Print it off, and this is going to give me a list of all my dailies for that particular time frame. I can see uh, the one I just did on the app there, no safety violations on there, uh, what the weather was when it came up, um, what was uh, the information on there. And if I wanted to also have it track all of the different um, people that were working on it, we can add that information as well, uh, get all that kind of stuff uh, logged down there. Um, we can also uh, run reports uh, for pretty much anything else in the software that we go through there. One last thing about this before I get into the, the full uh, question and answer portion of the software, everything that we're doing here is set up in such a way that you can get it out quickly and easily. So think about your IT person probably says, I would like to have a physical backup on my machine just in case our Internet went down. Okay, great. We can do what we call a project archive to get that for you. Now I'll also point out we do run everything on Microsoft Azure's platform got six data centers across the United States, so if there's ever a major disaster, you should still be up and running on one of those backup servers somewhere else. But a lot of people still want to have those backups right in the office, so you can absolutely do that. But also think about this for the terms of closeout. You might have an owner that needs to get some uh, the closeout files. Now, you might have a huge box that you normally fill with all the different documents. That's great. What if you could just request closeout for the owner? and have it download onto a flash drive, and you can hand that flash drive to them. That's exactly what this is set up to do. It gives you an offline website that you can then put on a flash drive. 
hand that over to them, and it's going to have everything in your software in here. You can pull up documents, you can pull up your plans, specs, the agenda, oh, nothing in the agenda, plans, current plans, architecturals, I can pull my A100, and go to my originals or my originals, and actually see those documents right from here. It's not giving us a um, bunch of PDFs that we have to read through and figure out what they are. It literally is giving us the site with all the metadata on it and all the revisions and all the pieces. But not just the documents, not just the plans and specs, but everything. So I can come in here and look at all of my punch list items or my meeting minutes that were historically done. So I can go back to my safety meeting on and say, okay, what happened on this safety meeting on this day? What were the meeting minute items? What was going on? You know, what were my RFIs? If I go look at my um, contract RFI log, I can say, okay, there's this uh, embedment change, and here's the document that somebody uploaded. Everything is available here to appropriately see um, for a closeout. So there's a great way to, to kind of uh, make yourself look good to those owners that are hiring you out to build the work. What if I could save you a lot of space by just handing you a PDF or a flash drive with all the documentation on it? You can do that right through the site. 